Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen, where I guide you through creating a little piece of art using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today I'm using a Micron PN plastic nib pen, a graphite pencil for shading, a tortillon for blending. Also using a two inch by two inch Zen Tangle tile called the Bijou. Today I'm going to do some poke root. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start right away with my pen. So poke root is one of those that takes a few practices maybe on a piece of scrap paper before you kind of get the hang of it, but it's really a fun one to make. So poke root starts with a very narrow little stem and then a circle around it. And when I make my circle, I'm gonna curl it in a tiny bit. Let me show you. See how I just kind of curl that up a little bit. And then at the top of my root, I put a little cap. And that's it, that's all you do. So now we get to have some fun stacking them. So I'm gonna make one come up over here. I add my little cap first. And now because I'm going behind, I have to imagine where this would have started and how it would come out over here nice and big and then curl in just a little bit. Do another one coming off over here. And then I do that same thing, making that big round circle and coming up. I've got some room right here so I can do a stem, put a little cap on it. Now this one's gonna be really far behind the other one, so I have to imagine coming down a little bit, circling around like that. Same thing. Just kind of working on that round motion, that circular motion with your hand that is not always easy to make. Put on my little cap. Like that. One coming down over here. Like that. Just kind of fill up this whole tile with these little roots and what looks like a berry on top. So some of mine have a lot of space between them and other ones do not. We can deal with that part later. These are really so fun to make. They can go in any direction. That one, the stem really had to go far behind. But that's okay. I tend to make mine pretty close together, but again, you don't have to.
It's kind of making me crave blueberries. All right, I've got room for another one right here. I'm gonna make this one a really short stem. Like that. And you know, I've got room probably for one more over here. Look at that little bunch of berries. I love it. Poke root does not take very long to make once you kind of get the hang of it. And I like to go back and add some accents. So just like a little bit of a shine that makes them look a little bit more round. You can do it on every one or just a couple of them. wherever you want. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna pick up my graphite pencil and do some shading. These are really fun to shade. So I'm gonna start by picking this very first little berry and seeing if it goes over any other berries and it does it goes over this one so I'm gonna add a little shadow there it goes over here a little bit over this stem and over that one so I just add a little bit of a shadow in there I pick the next one and I look at where it goes over the next berry over that root over that berry and I'm just giving it a little shadow on the outside. Same with this one over here. Just like that. If you want to go around the outside where it just goes out over your tile, you can do that too if you'd like. Pick the next little berry. Adding just a little bit of graphite. Even this part is meant to be relaxing. You don't need to stress about it. No one's going to look at this and judge you for how the shading looks. Just do one berry at a time. Add that little bit of shading. If I step back and look at it, it's amazing without even blending it. You can already see how those shadows make this part of my tile look more three-dimensional and less flat than the other part. Such an easy thing to do to add dimension to your tile. Don't forget all those parts that overlap another one. You can always sit back and kind of check it out. I pick up my tortillon and I'm just gonna take all those areas, push them away from the berry. Very, very, very gently. Just a little bit. So pretty. I would pick one berry at a time. Go all the way around that outside edge.
breathing as you go. Not stressing. Kind of like that we shaded the outside of those berries too. Can use little circular motions or little flicks. I'm not pressing down very hard at all. looks great. Okay, now I'm going to go back with my graphite pencil and where that root pokes into the berry, I want to give that a little bit of shading. So I'm going to take each one and right under that little cap there, putting a little bit of graphite. These little tiny details make all the difference. little tiny shadows created where those dip in there. Sit back, make sure you didn't miss one. And this just needs a little swipe or two to soften it. Okay. Some people, when they make poke root, actually take their pen and come down on each side and color that in. So you're welcome to do that if you'd like. I do it sometimes, but not every time. But I did want to show you how that looks. It gives it a little bit more of like a hole instead of just a little slit that it's going into. So feel free to add that if you'd like. It's almost like little triangles coming down, meeting the stem. If you ever find that your shading is going too much over your black lines, you can always take your pen and re-ink a line also. Okay, I'm also going to take my pen and anywhere that there are spaces between the berries, I'm going to ink them in. And maybe you've got some large spots, that's okay. But I'm going to look right here. And I'm going to ink in around that stem. Just because I think that if this were actual berries, I don't think we'd be able to see what's behind it. It would probably be pretty dark. I enjoy this process of going back and doing some little detail work. It adds so much. Again, you might have some larger areas, that's okay. And you don't have to ink in behind them, but if you'd like to. That's what it looks like. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tortillon that already has some graphite on it. And I'm going to imagine that the sun is kind of coming up from that upper left-hand corner. And that each berry might have just a little bit of a shadow on the bottom of it. Probably doesn't exactly match how I made those little um, reflections, but that's okay. Just feel like this rounds these out a little bit. Okay, 
And that's it. Again, step back, look at it, see if there's anything that you need to fix or add. It looks amazing. Always initial your work. And then flip your tile over, add the date that you made it, and a journal entry about something that you're thinking about. It's amazing when I go back and read just a one little line of something going on in my life in that moment. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, have fun.